ready for this? Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Donna Sports Show, brought to you by my great friends and sponsors like J.D. Muggs uh, and Chicken Manor. Boy, you can get chicken there now. Uh, they're at uh, on Addison Road, a Pyramid Sports Bar and Pizzeria. Wow, what a place. You go in there, there's about 25 big TVs, pool tables. They must have 30 pool tables in there. Get over to the Pyramid. Auto Advantage, uh, if you need something done on your car, Get over and see Dom uh, on Lake Street there, Primerica Investments. While well, you want to make some dough, you got to call Primerica Investments. Uh, my uh, nephew, Mike Figarelli, Max Golden Pheasant. Wow, what a great meal. We're right near 83 and North Avenue. Go in there and see Steve Mack. He's the owner. A great bar atmosphere. It's a terrific place. Fox Bowl, when you start bowling again, or maybe bowl this summer. They have summer leagues there. Get in there and uh, bowl at Fox Bowl out in Wheaton on Butterfield Road. And uh, in trend with Danny and Loretta Rosenmeyer. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're... They're connected with Com Edison. They do work for Commonwealth Edison, so you know it's not a retail place, but they're terrific people, Dan and, and uh, Loretta. Uh, if you get a chance to see their trucks, wave at them. Uh, then the UPS store on Lake Street, if you get a chance, you need some packages delivered, go in there and see Brad at uh, the UPS store. Well, we got a nice show lined up for you folks. Uh, probably going to talk to... We can get a hold of them, Wayne H. O'Brien, Tom the Big Guy Michael, Johnny Figarelli, uh, probably uh, maybe Jeff Trusco on bowling, our little bowling's over. Uh, so uh, maybe we'll talk about the Senior Olympics. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, well, we'll make a nice variety for you. All right, uh, we're going to get a hold of Wayne H. O'Brien. And is he on the line? Um. Hello, Wayne. Hi there. Yeah, buddy. How are you today? Okay. Yeah, is it raining out by you out there in Montgomery? Uh, Hope not. Pretty much <laughs> most of it went north and south of us. Oh, good. Yeah, I know. They had it south there, uh, past south of Manuka there, you know. Uh, Johnny, yeah. Johnny was all right, but you guys were all right too, huh? Well, that, that's, that's good to know. Uh, listen, Wayne, I know we talked on the phone back... And, and by the way now, I'm going to tell you something here. Johnny just told me something. You can hear us and hear your ad on the, uh, on the phone. You know, you just pick up the phone, you dial in some numbers, and you could listen to uh, the show on the, on the air, on the telephone. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to write this down, uh, and uh, I'll give you the number. And, okay. Uh, you you dial one six four one six four one seven one five seven one five three eight zero zero three eight zero zero. All right. So then probably a, a an operator will come on. It'll say dial in your code. Okay. So now uh, all you do is you and I'll give you these numbers here. Okay. Six nine, six nine, eight zero, oh, eight zero, oh, seven one, seven one. Yeah, you hit the pound key. You know, pound hit that. Key. Yeah, and and hit number two. That's the Donna one, Sports. Number two. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you dial that number six four one seven one five thirty eight hundred. Blah blah blah. An operator, somebody will come on. Then uh, give me your code, 698071-1, boom, hit the pound key. Dash and, 2, you mean? I mean, uh, wait a minute, what did I say? Uh, okay, here you dialed that the code would be 698071, followed by the pound, pound key. key. Yeah. And, and then I'll give you the list of uh, programs, and you dial, hit number 2, and you'll get the Dinosaur Sports. Right. Wow! Okay. How about that? Huh? And this this program that we're doing now will be up up on the, on the internet within the next couple of days, so uh, you can dial it in and you can hear what we're talking about right now in a couple of days. Okay, great. Pretty good, and no charge on that either. <laughs> All right, wait. Hey, wait. Uh, I know we talked about uh, the Bruins, of course. Uh, who you know you pull for, but I call uh, you got to be somewhat of a Hawk fan now. Uh, 
But there was an interesting guy uh, on ESPN. They had an article on this guy, uh, not uh, uh, not Wayne, uh, not uh, Bobby Orr, but uh, what the heck was the other guy? What was the guy? Oh, Derek, Derek Sanderson. Yeah, Derek Sanderson. I didn't realize the guy was so controversial. Do, do you remember him back in the, what was it, the 70s? Oh, yeah, 70s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and he looks, I mean, he's a wild, he was a wild man, you know. Uh, yeah, he had, he had a, a drug problem and all that, and he was single, and he was just, uh, but he, uh, he ended up playing a few, few other teams. Yeah, he, yeah, he had, well, his best years were with the Bruins, and uh, always get into a fight or something, <laughs> you know. But it was well. He's one of four guys that did. <laughs> yeah. Well, that they cut out all that fighting uh, now, which is good, Wayne. Before, I mean, you know, it stopped the game for ten minutes for cry eye. By the time they separated everybody, there'd be twenty guys on the ice, gloves all over the place, pounding each other, and penalty box full. Yeah, you know, and I mean, it's, <laughs> come on, let's let's play hockey, you know. Uh, so I'm glad they. I'm glad they cut that out. Some, uh, you know, that's the old Eddie Shore hockey. Yeah, right. Remember, uh, remember that man. Them guys were tough. All their teeth knocked out, you know. But uh, you know, yeah. uh, I, I. But it was it was fun at first to watch. Oh, there's a fight, you know. But then it right. kind of got like, oh man, am I am I watching a hockey game or a prize fight, you know? <laughs> so I'm glad they they straightened that the out. Minute. But, but uh, this Derek is still living, you know, but he looks good, you know. I mean, uh, he looked very distinguished when they were interviewing him, you know. I, th- I thought it was some professor or something at first who was talking about, you know, that, that era. Geez, he had yeah. white hair and a nice white uh, mustache. He looked good, you know, uh, compared to when he was a wild man, you know, back here. Yeah, uh, in the uh, and not to change the subject, but... Uh I was listening on the radio, and uh, the Hawks have a problem as far as uh, the salary cap on keeping Crawford and all that kind of stuff. Oh, is that right? No, I, I didn't. Oh, think yeah. So. Yeah, well, well, they got to keep Crawford. I mean, I hope they, they could get rid of somebody else, I would think. But uh, they he's got to keep the goalie. That's, uh, you know, one of the most important guys. If not. Yeah, this is, this is true, but... They got the salary cap is sixty five million. Yeah, and uh, they're dealing. They they got to deal with uh, about five million on uh, getting rid of players or whatever. Uh huh. You mean like if? Uh, well, uh, you mean Cor- uh, Corey, uh, the goalie? If he, you mean he wants more money or something? So they say, well, no, 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 no. This has to do with the trade uh, or the salary cap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Each team can only have sixty-five million dollars worth of players. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't they have that? Why would they? Why well, would... they do have that. Yeah. But uh, what I'm saying is, uh, they uh, there there's players that are uh, making real good money naturally, yeah. average of uh, you know four four million. Yeah. Each, okay. and you got all the players. You know, you got forty-one players. Oh man! And you got to, uh, so they got to decide on. Uh, uh, they dropped a couple of guys that were, uh, and then the guy his name that starts with O. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He was. Uh, oh, do Yeah. He was. Oh, do you? He was good. Yeah. And uh, they may drop him. But and I, proper. Yeah, I don't really under. In other words, if you you if you're paying the guys sixty-five million, okay, you're all right. Now the next year you pay them sixty five million. Why, why are you over the cap? I, I, I of course I, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, or whatever. But you know what I mean. They might, they, they might be a little over now that, uh, mm-hmm. you know, they're. They, they, all, all I can tell you is that it's sixty five million for the team. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And and you got all those other players too. You got to pay. Yeah. And so in order to. Uh, uh, the uh, I don't know. They might be over it now. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe in their over. contracts it calls for a raise or something. You know. So now that they, well, okay, well, yeah, we got, 
Right. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. We're going to go over now if we give you that raise. So they're going to say, well, yeah, but I want the raise. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, how much is enough, you know? Uh, and they they got uh, what was his name uh, the one they got rid of uh, a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, it begins with a. He D. was real good too. Yeah, it begins with a D or something. I I think I know who you mean. You know, uh, but you know what comes into play and a lot of this stuff I think Wayne are the uh, agents that these guys have. You know, they they they, they negotiate for them, and so they figure. You well, know, this is true, but uh, they got to uh, w- once they're under contract, they they don't get any more unless it's on the contract. Yeah, and that's yeah. probably what happened was uh, maybe a bonus uh, for a couple, three, four players, and they go mm-hmm. over to sixty-five million. So yeah, to, yeah, that's you know. yeah, right. But I, I think a lot of times too, uh, these agents uh, have a lot to do with influencing these guys, you know, because they make more money, you know. So in other words, the guy's happy. He's playing. He's doing pretty good, making good well, money. Well, it, uh, it, it all boils down to that uh, you, you got the uh, you got them, and then you got the uh, the owners that that accepts it. Mm-hmm. So I mean, mm-hmm. can't blame the <laughs> lawyers. Yeah, well, right. I know. Like I say, I. Uh, but then, like I say, these uh, they look around. These agents, they'll call a team. Hey. W- how much would you give so and so if he came to you? They go, oh yeah, we'd give him seven million. So the the uh, the agent goes to the player, right? Hey, uh, you want to make another million dollars? All you got to do is go over to uh, the Red Wings or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so yeah, this, yeah this that ag- happens all the time. But yeah, and then this agent makes twenty percent or whatever. You know, so that's yeah, all he probably cares. Probably a few players that uh, maybe four players that got a. Uh, Got to increase, uh, you know, on mm-hmm. their on their con on their contract yeah. for this next year, mm-hmm. and so they went over the sixty five million. Yeah, so yeah, well, that's I, how simple it is. Yeah, <laughs> I hope they don't lose Crawford though. Uh, you know, that'd be the downfall if they do that. But uh, yeah. well, it remains to be seen. I mean, uh, well, are you a Cub fan or a Sox fan? Uh, my daughter's a Cubs fan. <laughs> and uh, I'm not really heavy into baseball. baseball. Oh, <laughs> you're strictly hockey, huh? Right, yeah. hockey and uh, football. Vikings. You, uh, yeah, and the Vikings. Yeah. Well, they, uh, did they get Peterson? Is he back yet? Or yeah, is, is he still yep, beating up back. people? Or what's he doing? <laughs> he's back. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, with the Vikes. Yeah, he's he's through beating up his kid or whatever the heck he did, right? Right. <laughs> nice guys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. All right, Wayne, uh, listen, buddy, uh, you have a good day today, and uh, I'll talk to you uh, subsequently, all right? Okay, all right, thanks. All right, Wayne, take care. Bye-bye. All right. all right, that was Wayne H. O'Brien. Uh, listen to his commercial uh, down the road here a little bit. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Ready, ready, ready for this. The Donna Sports here. Hey, you guys, it's time to get out and golf. The DuPage County Forest Preserve courses are open. Maple Meadows at 272 Addison Road in Wooddale. It's a lynx-type course that is in great shape and no trees to hit. That's what a lynx-type course is, not many trees. Oak Meadows at 900 North Wooddale Road in Addison is a traditional course with trees, beautiful flowers, and not many sand traps. And the price is reasonable. And get this, it has the longest bar in DuPage County for the 19th hole. And Green Meadows on 63rd and Westmont, a shorter course that is in great shape also. All of these courses are waiting for you at reasonable prices. Call Oak Meadows at 630-595-0071 and make your tea time. America is one of the largest financial services marketing organizations in the nation with approximately 95,000 licensed independent representatives. Primerica is an industry leader in financial services. I'm Mike Figarelli, an independent representative and senior vice president in the Bensonville area, and the company's goal is to help ordinary families prepare for their financial futures. We've shown many local families how to do just that, and we are prepared to grow locally by providing people with financial solutions 
solutions as well as a great business opportunity. As an independent representative with Primerica, you can build a business of your own, part-time or full-time. To learn more about the Primerica business opportunity, call me, Mike Figarelli, at 630-860-0033. Again, that's 630-860-0033. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. On the line with me now is Tom, the big guy, Michael, my ex-partner. Hey, Tommy, how you doing, buddy? Pretty, pretty good, Don. How are you? Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing okay, but you know, Tom, Ju- my wife, Julie, uh, uh, under the weather a little bit. You know what happened? She, she got the shingles, Tom. Oh, you know what? No. She should have got that shot. Well, you're right. I didn't think of it, you know, uh... Uh, and you know, it's like, oh, well, you don't need it. You're not going to get it. But boy, she got it and, uh, she's a little better now, but I, I guess it takes a while for that to go away, Tom. It, it takes a while. I had the shot a year ago. The doctor made me take it. Oh, good for you. Uh, I thought about it. I said, well, I don't, what do I, I, I got a flu shot, you know, that's oh, more. Oh, yeah, well, that you got to have, yeah. Yeah, that's more common, but I didn't know about shingles, but I'm going to get one now that Julie, she got oh, it yeah. Yeah, on her head area, in, in her scalp, and on the right side of her face, you know. It's and, always on one side. Yeah, uh, oh, she's, she says it's so painful, uh, but, but there's not really much you can do either, Tom, uh, uh, they well, gave her. There is, you gotta wait it out. Yeah, they gave her a, maybe like a uh, a pill that just calms you down or something. But uh-huh. you, know, you know what I mean. But there there's no shot or anything uh, to cure it, like penicillin or something. You know. Right. It, it, there's nothing that can cure it. You gotta wait it out. Yeah, oh, man. But she's getting a little better, Tom. I'll tell her you said hi. I will. Good. You just <laughs> tell her take care. All right, Tommy. Wait, wait. What about that golf outing now? When is it? Uh, that's the third. Friday in September. Oh, that's right. It's not till yeah. It's late. That I was thinking it was seemed like it came a little earlier, but maybe not. But no, uh, it's in September. Yeah, it's in. Oh, so that we got time on that. Yes. Yeah, you. I'll you'll keep you posted on it. Yeah, yeah. What did you think about the Hawks? Uh, did you like? Oh, that was fantastic. I mean, they really uh, showed uh, to win it at home for the first time in how many years? Yeah, third. Third. How many? Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven, Johnny 70, said. I know it was a long time. Yeah, you know, it was close though. I swear to God, every game you didn't know if they were going to win or not. Right. I mean, <laughs> I know, but that's all a good team. You know, it, it, good teams. It, when you get down to that playoff, I mean, it's all all up to the goalie. You know that. Yeah, that's right. It's just a matter of uh, a, a deflection here or there. You know. And, uh, boy, uh, it was so close, you didn't know if they were going to win or not, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, finally they did. Did you go downtown? (laughs) Did you you and Laurie go downtown to the celebration? No, no. (laughs) I'm just kidding you. There wasn't anybody over the age of 30 in there, I think. You know, a bunch of young kids. I believe it. I believe it. (laughs) But, hey, how about lawn bowling? What are you guys doing with that now? Well, we're doing pretty good with it. We're, uh. You know, we're out there every weekend, except this weekend i got to go to Indianapolis for a bit. Okay. But, uh, uh, and it's going well. Oh, good. Boy, you, at 50, you, don't you play on the south side there, 55th and the outer drive or something like that? Or? Exactly, exactly, 57th, really. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, then, uh, how do you like my Cubs? I know it. I like them, Tommy. I, you, you think the manager makes that much difference? Uh well, uh, you know, he's a pretty cool guy, I heard. I mean, you know, he put in uh, Orpheo one time to pinch it, and everybody complained. He put him in this time, and he won the game. Yeah, right. you got to let those guys get a shot at at uh, a tough situation. Otherwise, they never will. That, you're absolutely right. I, I like uh, I, I like the way they're playing, and uh, I think the, the uh, coach makes a pretty good difference. Of course, you got to have the players. they got to execute. But, yeah, but, but he, he's pretty good with the pictures and, and and his attitude with the players is tremendous yeah especially young people you know sometimes it's hard to get to young people yeah right they got their ways and so on you know and uh but I, you know I, I i don't know if they can overtake the cardinals what the heck makes them cardinals so good year in and year out tommy absolutely well i think that i think the cardinals are going to have a, a a tough time playing against us uh-huh. And also against uh, Pittsburgh. 
Well, oh, I hope you're right, Tom, but uh, it seems you... I think you... the Cardinals will fall back a little bit. I mean, they got a few injuries, and they can't, you know, it's just hard to keep it up. Well, right. They're kind of gelling at the right time, you know? Yeah, yeah. But if they drop down, they don't go far, you know, maybe you're, third. You're right. <laughs> it's not but like you a... take them two out of three, and Pittsburgh does, or something like that, you know, and they, uh, look at we, we beat two good pitchers from the L.A. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the, it's an indication that, you know, they might, you know, finish up pretty strong, you know, I hope. Right. It's an indication. Well, Tommy, wait, I want to give you some numbers, Tom, if you got a minute here. Uh, sure. Because uh, this is pretty good. Uh, you, you could tell your folks, your kids, you can listen to uh, the show uh, not only on the Internet, but now on the telephone, Tom. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So here, let me, let me give you this these numbers, and if you're talking to someone, uh, you know, they can dial them on the on the telephone. They don't have to do, do the Internet if they don't want to, okay? That's interesting. Okay, you ready? You got a pen or a pencil? I got a pencil. Okay. All right, you dial 1-641-715-3800. Right. Okay. Okay, then there'll be an operator or someone who'll say, give me your code. Okay, so you, you, you punch in 698 right. 071 and then uh, the, pound key. the pound key and number 2. Pound key, yep. number two. Right, and that'll get you to the Donna Sports Show. And then, like, if they did it right now, would they be getting it? Well, when the Tommy, uh, Johnny, when is it going to be ready? It'll, it'll probably be up on, uh, uh, probably in a couple of days. Uh, John Chicano will have it, on, have it up on the, on, the, on, the, on the site. Not till Friday, probably. Yeah, yeah, about that time, yeah. But then after that, it'll be on all the time, right? All the right, time, John? right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's another avenue, you know, for someone to listen to you. That's great. All right. Okay, Tom, say hi to Lori, all right? Oh, well, you, you tell, uh, tell her to take care of those shingles. Yeah, all right. Take care okay. of that. All right, bye-bye. All right, Bye. folks, we'll be right okay. back. All right. <laughs> Try, uh, my Folks, if you get a chance, get over to J.D. Muggs Bar and Grill, located at 437 North Addison Road in Addison, Illinois. 33 different kinds of beer. Can you imagine that? It's the home of the He-Man Burger, and baby, that is a He-Man Burger. Wait till you see the size of that burger. Chicken Caesar Salad, which is one of my favorites. It's a friendly atmosphere. There's karaoke on Wednesday night and a great DJ on Fridays. Call Dean at 630-833-2570. Hi, my name is Tom Sims. I'm the owner of Fox Bowl. We are Fox Bowl Training Center and Pro Shop. We set ourselves apart because we emphasize instructions. We have a full-time bowling instructor, Greg Zika. We have instant replay, videotape each bowler. Another program that we have is our Youth Bowling, USA Bowling. It's an eight-week program after school type of thing. It's eight weeks for $88 with instructions, and every child gets a free bowling ball, a $75 value. And thank Thank you from Fox Bowl. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, on the line with me now is uh, John Figarelli, of course, the curator of the Hall of Fame for Fitness. Uh, hello, John. Hello. John, how are you? Hey, good. How's it going? All right. A couple of things quick, Johnny. Uh, well, one second, you guys. All right. Okay, hello. All right, a couple of questions real fast, Johnny. Uh, Manuka Tennis Club, all right? We got a, right. Uh, we got lessons tonight? Yeah, what well, we have tonight is called an open play. What's People have played with the uh, tennis club for the last year or two. Yeah. can come and enjoy just a social gathering, play a little bit of uh, sets together against each other, singles and doubles. Uh, more of a social gathering tonight, not really lessons. I Those see. are usually on Monday and Friday. So all right. Well, how how am I going to know who I'm playing, or do I just challenge somebody, or just say, uh, you know, how how is that going to work? Well, depending on uh, you know uh, your skill level, there's a uh, a challenge bracket board that everybody gets assigned to, and then during the play during the year, and this is mostly during the summer, we have the 
the uh, challenge play is uh, mm -hmm. you get to challenge people within your range, uh, one or two levels up or down, uh -huh. uh, and depending on the results, you'll move up and down the board. So oh. it's a lot of fun for us. Yeah, all right. Well, now, if I wanted to challenge uh, your daughter Isabel, what, am I allowed to do that, or is she way ahead of me? Well, I don't know. I have to look at the board there. It's just, uh, <laughs> again, it's uh, where you are on the 24 players who signed up this summer. Yeah. So there's quite a, you know, from 1 to 24, there's quite a range of uh, talent in there. So it's yeah. a lot of fun. Well, yeah, but I mean, even if I just didn't want to challenge her, if I just wanted to play uh, Isabel, uh, is, can I do that? Uh, sure. For uh, you, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right, what's new with the hall now? Uh, coming up uh, in September, we uh, got something going. What's this deal there? Yeah, September 13th is our uh, induction ceremony for the National Fitness Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. and that'll be on a Sunday evening at the, the Medina Shriners Club, which is a very nice place there in Addison, uh, banquet facility. There'll be a lot of VIP guests coming in from out of town. Wow. There's a lot of local uh, fitness professionals will be there as well, and and, and the f fans of fitness also are invited. So uh, information can be found on the website nationalfitnesshalloffame dot com. All right, uh, for all the tickets and uh, information will be there. Okay, John. But wait, be, I'm going to let you go here in a minute. But I I want you to take this number down because uh, you can hear this interview now not only on the internet but it's going to be on the telephone. All right. Nice. Yeah. So here. Uh, are you ready for these numbers? Sure. All right. 1 641 715 Okay. 3800. All right. All right. Dial then, that in. And you yeah, can dial hear that in. Your Someone will say, well, give me your code. Now, here's the code. Oh, okay. Cool. 698 mm -hmm. 071. Right. And the pound key, and then number 2. Very good. All right, yeah, but not till Friday though. You know oh, I mean, okay. it, it'll I'll take it on Friday. Very yeah, good. After that, just uh, tell uh, Nick or Isabel, hey, yeah. d dial in. They can hear the show on the uh, on their cell phone or their tele whatever. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Uh, all Fantastic. right. Fantastic. All right, John. All right, I'll have see a you. Good th show. I'll see you tonight, and thanks a lot. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, guys. Okay. Hi everybody, this is Don Figueroa of Don Sports talking about Wayne Houses O'Brien. For all your real estate needs, call Wayne Houses O'Brien. Yes, the H stands for houses at 630-235-5880 or visit his website at flyingrealtor at yahoo.com. That's right, he's a pilot. He'll take a picture of your home from the sky. Whether you're buying or selling, call Wayne at 630-235-5880. He has residential, commercial, and and investment properties. He is honest, hardworking, and friendly. Those are all the traits you want in a realtor. He loves hockey and he loves to fly. Again, call Wayne Houses O'Brien at 630-235-5880 or visit him on his website at flyingrealtor at yahoo.com. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I'd like you to go over to Addison Advantage of Addison, a car care center. Why? Because they have a free inspection for your brakes, your exhaust, your struts, your struts, your shaft, ball joints, radiators, water pumps, timing belts, tires, wheel bearings. You realize that there are that many things that would be done on a car? Hey, <laughs> that's all called uh, preventive maintenance, that, right? That's absolutely and, right. Know, yeah, it's absolutely right. You Jack. can't be too safe. Mm -hmm, yeah, get in there. And, and But if you do need some things, there's a $20 bonus voucher for any service over 250 which, you know, that 20 save you 20 bucks. And a five dollar bonus voucher. I keep saying voucher. Voucher five dollars off any service over thirty dollars. That'd be easy to do. An oil change would be that. You'd get five dollars off. They're located at eight eighty five Lake Street in Addison. They're open Monday through Friday, eight to six. On Saturday from eight to three. Give Dominic or Leon a call at six three zero five four three one three nine seven. All right. That's Auto Advantage of Addison Car Care Center. Great guys. They have uh, best warranty around and the longest warranty around. Uh, brakes are $70 off on a, on a brake job with a four-wheel lifetime warranty. Can you imagine that? Mm. And a one-year warranty on all labor that they do. 
Uh, all work comes with a warranty. So if you need uh, your oil change, you need transmission, you need uh, flush, a front end work, fuel pumps, whatever whatever you can think of on your car, go over to Addison Advantage uh, of Addison at 885 Lake Street in Addison. Call Dominic or Leon, 630-543-1397. Strikeouts. He's got a one to nothing lead, and you bring in Dave Robertson for the ninth inning. What makes you think Robertson is going to be spot on? Yes, he's a good reliever, mm-hmm. but the way Sale was pitching, you don't take him out. That's how I would manage. Why, yeah. Why run the risk? Nobody. There's no guarantee that your your reliever, as good as he is is going to be spot on, and he wasn't well, that particular day. Yeah, well, may, was Sale getting tired? Was he walk, starting to walk, guys, or something? I don't I don't recall, you know. I don't know. I did not watch the game. Oh, uh-huh. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, maybe he, maybe he saw his velocity come down or something or whatever, you know. Uh, I'm just giving him the benefit of the doubt on that, you yeah. know. I mean, not, not being there in the dugout. Uh, but unless that was just his decision... Uh, but he must have realized something, you know, like, uh, maybe, uh, he, he walked a guy or sale did, you know, uh-huh. and maybe, uh, maybe he was getting tired. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, Jeff, all of, all those things come into play. Right. We're not there in the huddle. We don't know how he was feeling. Maybe he was fatigued. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe he lost a little something. Uh, did he, did sale himself want to come out and says, no, you better take me out. You know, yeah, we right. We don't know that. No, but, no. Uh, is, is, if I were a manager, you know, I, I can't help but think that a major league pitcher wants to pitch as m- the entire game. They yeah. want to get a complete game. They want to get a shutout. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, the epitome is to have a perfect game and then a no-hitter and then a shutout, and then after that comes the win. Yeah, right. But, you know, the way he has been going for his, his six – Six starts in a row or so at that time. Mm-hmm. You know, come on. Yeah. You know, did he? Did if he did not want to come out, then I blame that on Ventura. Yeah. I want. Did do you recall what happened then? Did did they lose the game? Did uh, did Robertson pitch all right? I, I mean, do you re, do you recall that? Do you, the only thing I remember. Well, they did lose the game. Oh, they did. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. And the the thing I remember, uh, I. Um, from the uh, highlights on the news is that the bases were loaded. Oh. And, um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I don't know how that happened. That were, were they wa- or some guys walked or they get a couple of hits. I, I have no idea. Like I says, I did not see the yeah, game. Uh, yeah, but they, the uh, yeah. And, and whatever, they lost the game, right? right? That's yeah. the bottom line. All right. Yeah. How's your buddy? <laughs> how's your buddy? The guy with long hair and a big beard that <laughs> I can't, I, 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 you said you hate that guy. Every time he comes in, he, I, I, I forget what his name is, you know. He was the he was the reliever for the Cubs. His name was Brian Schlitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know What happened to that guy? Well, I think they sent him down. Oh, really? And I hope he stays down. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I, I, honest to God, I'm not kidding. Every time I saw him in the game, he's given up runs. <laughs> now, what are you paying this guy for? Because he's pitching at a fifth grade level. Yeah. Oh, Schlitter, that's right. Schlitter. That's what it was. But you're right, I've been watching the cup, but I haven't seen him come in, so maybe, like you say, maybe they did send him down. They did. <laughs> and good riddance. If they're smart, they will never bring him back up. <laughs> you know, uh, I think I, I think Madden, this coach for the Cubs now, I think he's making a little difference, you know. Do, do, you, do you notice that? Uh, have you been to any games yet? Uh, uh, no, uh, I I went to one game. <laughs> let me let me rephrase that. I went out there on the day. It was uh, on a Saturday a few weeks ago when yeah. it was cold and it was raining. And yeah. they, they called the game. Okay. You know, it should have been called before noontime before the folks started going out there. Yeah. But oh. because it was a giveaway, you know, I'm going. I'm getting that giveaway. Oh, okay. You know, I'm not going to uh, take the risk that they're allowing people in, they're giving it away, and then uh, yeah. if you don't show up, of course, you don't get it. Oh, okay. So uh, it was a Chicago Whales jersey. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah so I be... wanted that. Yeah. Did you get it then? You oh, got... yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, good. I got it. And, and as soon as <laughs> I mean, I get inside the concourse, 
and I get something to eat, and I'm standing up uh, uh, on the um, lower level at, at the very by by the um, uh, fence, uh, the screen in the back, you know, but behind yeah. the very last row of the uh, lower grandstand. Yeah, right. I'm eating my uh, uh, whatever I bought, you and uh, I, I heard a, a, a young couple, a guy on a phone. He says, okay, uh, we'll meet you at uh, such and such a place. It seems that the, they canceled the game. Uh-huh. And and I tapped, when they were walking away, I tapped his girlfriend on the uh, shoulder. I says, did I hear j- just hear him tell somebody that the game was canceled? She says, yeah, <laughs> the, the game's canceled. It's on the uh, video board. Oh, yeah. I, I couldn't see it from where I was at. I had to stoop down. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. And, and, and see, and then they said it's going to be replayed at the end of September. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. I got my jersey. I'm having my eats, and I'm going home. Yeah. But they, the, the point is there. They should, they've got to know what the weather forecast is. You know, it's not, there was no chance it was going to break up and turn sunny. It was cold. Yeah, they're pretty it was accurate. And raining. And, yeah. You know, don't make the people come out here. Yeah, well, well, who knows? They figured they'd sell something at the concession well, stand. Well, exactly. That's the yeah. that's what they. You do. know what I mean? Yeah, right. Uh, all right, hey Jeff, wait a minute. A couple of things here. Uh, before we go, I got to give you a phone number here because uh, you not only can hear yourself on the internet, but now on the telephone. What? Okay. Yeah, yeah. This the show we do now. Oh, you tell someone to uh, go on the telephone and uh, dial in a couple numbers, and they'll hear the show. They'll hear your interview, Is you know? That's right. All right, now, uh, are you ready? I'm going to give you these uh, numbers here. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. 1-641-715-715-3800. Okay, and then, you know, it'll, uh, an operator will come to you. Oh, dial in your code. Okay, so now then you dial in 698 Six nine eight oh seven one zero seven one, 071 and then the pound key and then number two okay so that's it and then it'll you know the dinosaur you know blah 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 you know uh and then it'll be just be the show you know if they you know uh, well the internet's still on that that you know they you can hear it on the internet but this is the telephone now okay yeah. all right a uh, couple of quick things now uh we got uh olympics coming up uh, and uh, you and I are in bowling, so tell the folks how that works, and uh, we got to get together and practice before the event. But tell the folks how the Senior Olympic works uh, in the you know bowling section. Well, this year uh, we're bowling on Friday, July seventeenth, over okay. at the uh, Brunswick Zone in Mount Prospect, mm-hmm. and uh, check-in time is uh, by one o'clock. We bowl three games, and, of course, uh, there is no handicap. It's all what everybody rolls scratch. And uh, they give away the uh, gold, silver, and bronze medals to the top three in each age category. Mm -hmm. Men and women are obviously, women compete against women and men against men. And Mm -hmm. the age brackets are every five years, and it begins at the age of 50 through 54. So Mm -hmm. the folks in that age group uh, bowl against each other, and then uh, folks 55 to 59 uh, bowl against each other, mm. and so on. Yeah. And um, uh, this is the first year that they're having this on a Friday because it's usually been on a Wednesday, or it's, I think last year was on a Thursday. Yeah. This year it's on a Friday. Okay. And um, uh, when everybody's all finished, you just hang around and wait to find out if you've won uh, a medal. Yeah, okay. You yourself have won quite a few over the years that we've been uh, uh, competing in the um, Olympics. Yeah. Well, what I like about it, Jeff, is uh, it's in age category. So, you know, I mean, you're not bowling. Well, especially if being scratch, which means, you know, no handicap pins, you know, right? Uh, so, I mean, uh, you, you don't want to bowl against a 50-year-old. Yeah, he'd probably bowl better than you. But, no, you're in your age group with no handicap is what I like. Right, and and it all depends on how many people show up because uh, uh, some folks who are, let's say, in their 50s, they're able to take off from work or maybe they're retired by then or something, and there could be fewer folks yeah. in their bracket uh, competing against them. And on the other hand, at the other extreme, if you're in your 80s <laughs> or 90s... Like I am, right? How many folks 
are you going to be competing against? <laughs> now, you, of course, have been bowling in leagues for many years, and, and you're, uh, you do very well, you know, um, and, and uh, that's why you've uh, won a lot of medals over the years. Yeah, there are right. not a lot of folks coming out in, in that age bracket and uh, a few years ago, there was a gentleman who was uh, 100, 101 years old. Oh, yeah, that's and, right. Uh, obviously, he was the only one in his age bracket, so he <laughs> won the gold medal. It doesn't matter what he scored. Because that's right. Because he's not going to score anything big. As long as you're standing at the end, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> he was the last man standing. And, and God bless him, because he gave an effort. He yeah. was able to move and, you know, roll the ball down there. I didn't observe him. We weren't near him. But uh, <laughs> even if he rolled a 38 game, you know, he's going to get a gold medal. Yeah, he's got to complete the game, though, right? I mean, she yeah. did, yeah. Yeah, three games, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's it's, right. It's, yeah, he had a bowl three. One, three yeah. games. <laughs> and there are a lot of uh, different uh, sports. There's pickleball. Uh, what is pickleball? Oh, I don't know. Isn't it so, like played on a tennis court and uh it's uh, not badminton, but it's not tennis. It's a paddle or something with a with a little bird or something. Uh, uh, you know, you know what I mean. It's sort You're of. I'm like, thinking badminton. Well, it's not badminton, no, but it's more <laughs> it's more advanced than badminton or whatever. The, what they're hitting is more like a tennis ball, I think. Oh. But you know, I I don't know. To be honest with you, I, I I've heard it now. Uh, evidently, people like it because uh, it's part of the Olympics now, isn't it? I don't know. I, well, as far as the Singer Olympics is concerned, this is the only uh, uh, sport, I mean, this is the only location where I saw the term pickleball, and I wonder, is it something that's in the shape of a Klaus and dill? You know, <laughs> yeah. and they hit it? <laughs> yeah, like I say, Jeff, I, I've never seen it played, but... It's got to be a combination of badminton and tennis uh-huh. because it's it's played with a net. You know, you gotta you gotta get it over the net. Uh-huh. But I, I I don't have the specifics on it. You know, uh, but any of those uh, I don't go for any of those oddball things. You know, right? I mean, to me, I like I like to play tennis, right? With a tennis ball and a racket. Of course. You know. Uh, so I, I, it doesn't really interest me, but evidently maybe for older people or you can't move as well, maybe maybe that's the game for you, you know, as, as long as you're keeping active, Jeff. Well, for, for <laughs> listeners who may want to uh, have a little interest in this, besides that, there is team softball as well as softball events, and that's like a home run derby, uh, distance throw, running mm-hmm. the bases, yeah, uh, that's all included in the softball events. There's a volleyball, there is nine-hole golf, there's a basketball free throw, horseshoes, mm-hmm. billiards, table tennis, uh, wee bowling, yeah. um, shuffleboard, uh, a trap shoot, track and field, swimming. Uh, all these sports are there for folks who uh, want to get out there, have some fun, certainly get in the exercise, yeah. uh, be involved in competition. And, uh, unfortunately, I think uh, this week is the deadline for uh, registering for any of these. And I I myself uh, haven't done that yet. I've misplaced my application form. But for the listeners, if they want to uh, uh, inquire about this, Mm -hmm. you would contact Teresa Grodsky, mm-hmm. and her phone number is 630-233-2275, mm-hmm. extension 2. All right, Again, well, that's Teresa Grodsky, 630-233-2275, extension 2. She will give you all the details. In fact, I'm about to call her yeah, you uh, better. myself <laughs> so I can say, hey. And, and she usually, of course, because we've been in it for so many years, yeah. she knows me and she, fine, just come on by and give me your fee right and there are fees for certain uh, uh, sports uh, like uh, it's a $35 fee for nine hole golf $55 for 18 hole golf mm-hmm. $5 for a trap shoot of course uh, bowling is a dollar fifty per game but those are the fees for those particular sports so uh, yeah. uh, there is a $16 entry fee mm-hmm. per person 
for one day of competition and twenty two dollars per person for two or more days mm-hmm. but and, I think you uh, get so it what I'm looking the, the figures I have are from last year's yeah. application so I don't I remember if they've changed for this year but like I said call Teresa and get the straight information from her all right we'll do that all right Jeff thanks an awful lot and uh, let's get out and practice okay I'll give you a call okay take care sounds good yeah bye 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 all right folks uh, we'll be right back all right Johnny Hi, everybody. This is the Donna Sports Don Figarelli telling you about one of our great sponsors, all right? Pyramid Pizzeria and Sports Bar. That's right, Pyramid Pizzeria and Sports Bar, Addison's favorite pizzeria at 236 West Lake Street in Addison. Phone number 630-458-0777. Hot, fast delivery. 2012 Addison Pizza by the Slice winner, yes, Best thin crust pizza, best sausage pizza, best pizza sauce. Late night delivery. Here's their hours, Sunday to Thursday, 10 at thir- ten a.m. to 11 a.m. That's 10.30. Friday and Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. Minimum order, $10. Delivery charge only two fifty. Menu prices subject to change without notice. Dine-in, delivery, carry-out, catering. That's Pyramid Sports Bar and Pizzeria. www.pyramidclubaddison.com. Go there. Hi, everybody. Don Figarelli here, the Don of Sports. I want to tell you about some very interesting people that I know. A wonderful company that they have, Danny and Loretta Rosenmeyer. It's their 25th anniversary being in business and uh, in conjunction with ComEd. Okay, they do a lot of work for ComEd. They're bringing stewardship to the construction industry for 25 years and counting. In trend, outperforming every day. They're located at 18202 West Union Road in Union, Illinois, 60180. Their website, www.intren.com. That's I-N-T-R-E-N. Outperforming every day. Loretta and Danny Rosemary. Loretta is the chief executive officer. Her mobile phone is 815-341-4535. That's Intren, 25th anniversary, bringing stewardship to the construction industry for 25 years and counting. A wonderful corporation. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Donna Sports Show. Welcome back. And on the line with me now, all the way from Ocala, Florida, is Big Byron Maxwell. Hello, Byron. Yes, sir. How are you, Bob? This is much better now. I can hear you yesterday on that cell phone. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Donna Sports Show. Welcome back. And on the line with me now, all the way from Ocala, Florida, is Big Byron Maxwell. Hello, Byron. Yes, sir. How are you, Bob? This is much better now. I can hear you yesterday on that cell phone. You were, you know, cutting in and out, Bry. Yeah, but, I know it. I I called up uh, Sarantano, by the way. So. Oh, did you? What did he say? Well, nothing. He was home. Oh, in Illinois or down by you? Illinois. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. He, my God, he got more things wrong with him than all of us put together. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I mean, I I don't. I, <laughs> but I know what you mean. The poor guy, you know. Uh, uh, no. his, his sight is it coming back a little or not? And uh, on his. No, he, I guess. I guess the left eye is about gone. Really? Um, oh, man. Well, listen, uh, I, I, got, I only got a m- couple of minutes for you, but uh, what do you think? Do, are the Cubs going to make it? Can they overtake St. Louis? Well, it's, it's not going to be easy with St. Louis. I was hoping maybe a wild card. If they had the wild card, oh, yeah. they'd have a better chance. Well, that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, you're right. Do you, do you so, think? Do you think this Madden, the manager, making a difference? Uh, Got to be some making a difference. They're they're pretty. They're playing good over five hundred. They're making the acquisitions. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got all young players. Yeah. At the Norfolk. 
all right, yeah. and Caesar. Mm-hmm. Listen, these guys are good. Uh, Fowler, and now he's sprained his ankle. He's he's the star of the team. Yeah, is he going to be out much longer, or when's he do back? I don't back? know. He's yeah, he, I, I don't. Uh, he might have had a mild sprain. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. no. I, uh, if this is going to be the first time in a long time uh, that uh, that we might have a chance. You know, yeah. The last time was when that guy snatched that ball out of the, out of what's his name's head, <laughs> gloved it, and uh, changed yeah. the momentum of the game. Hartman. Hart, huh? wasn't, it, wasn't his name Hart, Bartman? Bartman. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. That 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 that, that schmuck, He should have let the guy catch the ball. Uh, what, who was that? Uh, who was that guy? That, the uh, player. I can't think of it. Wait a minute. Soto? No. Uh, Oliva? No. Or something like that. His dad. His dad was a right. And brother both played. That's uh, right. Uh, yeah, they both played. Oliva? No, not Oliva. But uh, I know I could picture him. But who was uh, it, huh? I, I know. Who right. he, I know what you mean. We'll think of it later on, he right? Never, yeah, he never wore batting gloves. No, that's so. right. That's right. Uh, anyway, Soto. Soto? No. I, would, I got I got just one thing to say here. Yeah. Last year we had a no hitter. The ump made a big sad mistake right on TV, and baseball did not give that kid that no hitter. Yeah, That's that awful. was. You're All right. right. The biggest sports blunder in the history of the game of any games was yeah. in in the Super Bowl. You're right. All right. You're the right. worst TV coverage I ever saw for anything was in the Masters. Yeah. All right. Oh and man. Then, and then the biggest blunder of all was when Johnson didn't kick that putt up short within 17 inches for a tap and, and then go to the playoff. I know. Okay, I had my say. <laughs> all right, wait a minute. Bye. Do me a favor here. Just quit. I'll let you go. I'm going to give you some numbers because now you can hear yourself on the telephone besides the Internet. So, in other words, on your cell phone, whatever you key, you punch in a couple numbers and you can hear your interview, all right? All right. Are you ready for uh, some numbers here? Yeah. All right. You dial 1-641-715-3800. You got that? Okay. All right. Then they're going to say, uh, all right, sir, dial in your code. Now, here, you dial in 690 Six, more, you got more numbers? Yeah, well, a couple more. Hold on. Six, six, six nine, nine, oh. 698-071. And then the pound key, and then number two. So here's, here, I'll give it to you again. You so, got, first you all right, you've got one, six, four, one, seven, one, five, three, eight hundred. That's correct. Six, nine, eight, dash, oh, seven, one. Pound two. Yeah, that's it. All right. See, Ed, I remember that. I didn't even write it down. Well. <laughs> yeah, bullshit, too. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the air now. All right. That won't be done till Friday, though. But then after that, you can hear yourself. All right? All right. Yeah. Say hi to Bobby and uh, go Cubs and Bears, your buddy's yeah. Cutler. Well, tell, tell Jules that I had the shingles, too. Yeah. So. All right. I sure will give her your best. All right. Take care. Right, we'll see you later. Yeah, take care. Bye now. Bye-bye. All right. All right, Johnny, I'm going to wrap it up. Hi, everybody. This is Don Figueroa, the town of sports. I want to tell you about Gelato di Oro. Gelateria, an Italian cafe. Wow. Gelato, coffee, panini, desserts. Mary Miranda is the owner-manager. She's a terrific gal. Her phone number is 630-773-1816, all right? And they're located in Addison, Illinois, at 1450 West Lake Street, Unit 103 in Addison, Illinois, of course. Now, what a terrific menu, folks. Gelato, drinks, soup, salad, coffee, Italian sodas. Panini, pasta, dolce, oh man, uh, there must be at least 50, 75 different items. I can't give them all to you, but if you go in there and see Mary or Michael, you know, they'll they'll give you a sample and let you try most of them. Of course, gelato, small cup of coffee, gelato, only $3, and uh, winter berry tea, only two fifty. Now, these are just 
part. In those two sections I mentioned, there's at least seven or eight different flavors and so on. Uh, soups or salad, you get a soup of the day is only three dollars and seventy five cents. Turkey Gia Dinera, five dollars. Basil pesto spread turkey provolone. Oh man, my mouth's watering. Your choice of mild or hot Gia Dinera. <laughs> Johnny, you gotta get in there, buddy. Panini and uh, assorted hot teas, hot cinnamon spice, orange organic espresso coffee. Get this, only a dollar sixty. Espresso macchiato, only a dollar ninety. And there's at least ten more different lattes and so on. Uh, it's a, it's a terrific place. Gelato de Oro or the Gelateria, an Italian cafe. Mary Miranda is the owner manager. Michael is also in there. Uh six three oh seven seven three one eight one six. You gotta get in there. Fourteen fifty West Lake Street, Unit one oh three, right next to Jimmy John's in Addison, Illinois. All right, folks, a, a new sponsor for us here uh on this great show that we do, John Davida's Broadcast Center. Uh it's the UPS store number six three five three in Addison. You know, it's right across from the Marcus Theater there, and it's right next to Panera Bread. Uh, they pack and ship any size item you have. Wow, any size, doesn't matter. And get it there when you need it. They offer mailbox service for anyone who needs privacy and convenience. They offer printing services for any print job. Get this, business cards, posters, canvas, vinyl signs, they do it all. They offer freight services for those oversized items, you know, such as furniture or art or even auto parts. And, uh, and they even can ship your pet if you'd like. Now, that's the UPS store, and uh, it, the owner is Brad Markovich, a, a great guy. Uh, they're located at 1600 West Lake Street in the great town of Addison. And here they're open for 8 a.m., of course. you got to get stuff going 8 to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and, of course, closed on Sunday. Their phone number is 630-438-6441. Give Brad Markovic a call. Stop in for all your UPS needs. All right, everybody. Hi. Uh, thanks for listening to the show. Uh, I'm going to run these numbers by you again here. Uh, for uh, You can hear us on the telephone now. Uh, we've got to call Jeff, Jeff back. He's got some information for you. Oh, okay. So, uh, All right. Well, uh, we're going to keep going here then. Uh, Jeff's going to call me. He's got some info for us. So uh, we'll, we'll keep going here we'll, we'll, before we close. But uh, uh, we'll see what Jeff has to say. He's probably got uh, a date or uh, some information. Is Jeff there now? And we'll see what uh, we'll see what he has to say. But uh, we want to thank Wayne H. O'Brien, of course, Tom the Big Guy Michael, uh, John Fitness Figarelli, and um, uh, Jeff Trusco, who's on the line now, and Byron Maxwell. Okay, hello, Jeff. Yeah, I'm here, Don. Yeah, okay, what have you got for us? Okay, I have to make a correction with that phone number for Teresa Grotsky that I gave. Oh, yeah? The number that I looked at on last year's application form was a misprint. Uh-oh. So I kept looking. When I called it, of course, I get no longer in service, so I kept looking on this form. And fortunately, the correct number is in two other spots on this form, but in smaller print. Really? Anyway, yes. Yeah. So anyway, the number, again, is 630 630- Two three three seven two seven five. No extension two. Yeah, I get you. Two two seven five. Yeah, it's seven two seven five. Yeah, two seven seven five extension two. No extension. What was the extension? It's two three three seven two seven five. Yeah, extension two. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, Jeff. Thanks for that information. You're welcome. And uh, we'll keep in touch, huh? Okay, Don. All right. Take care. Sure. Bye bye. All right. All right, folks, uh, that wraps it up. Uh, listen to our sponsors. Go into our sponsors. Tell them you listen to the show. And uh, they're all good people. And uh, give them a little business, all right? Okay, Johnny, is that it? That's a wrap. All right, thanks for listening. Bye-bye now. All right. Y'all ready for this?